All right. Okay. First flight. Ready? Let's get it in the air. This camera that I'm shooting on right now is probably one of the most like exciting cameras in a long time for so many people. So I'm happy, I'm grinning, I'm excited to be using this today. So yeah, it's not gonna be a lot of specs, it's gonna be a lot of just actually using the camera. Um, sorry, it's early, I haven't even had coffee yet. Going to meet up with a buddy of mine who flies drones professionally, flies like cinema helicopters. There it is. Ooh. Is this what's gonna fly it? Let's hope so. <laughs> Dude, don't, don't tell Sony that. But yeah, everything you see in this video, unless it's labeled, will be shot on the A7S Mark III. Let's go pick up Chris. What's up, dude? Oh my god, that thing is so sweet. Yeah. Look at it. Okay, wow. flip out screen. Oh, game changer. Dude, vlog it. <clears throat> what up, crew? We're in Chris's, like, gear cave. It's a junk drawer. You can you can be honest. It's a junk drawer. <laughs> How does that look? 15 stops of dynamic range. You can see the sky. I'm in the shadow of the gas station. And other game changing experts check out Better Together with Maria Menino. Supporting the local. Cheers. Got you. This is the shot right here. A7S Mark III. Look at that dynamic range, dude. That's insane. Americano, and then you added something in there. Blonde something? What, I don't even know what that means. Blonde Americano. Is that just like the At, of Yeah, shout out. Starbucks has like a blonde roast if you don't know. Try it. It's way better than their regular, but you do have to ask for it, so. Agreed. Yeah, I'll wait. Yeah, it was better than it's, you think? It's super good. Yeah, yeah. sick. Sunny A7S III, ice latte sip. insane spot look at that we got 15 stops of dynamic range we got 10 bit 422 4k we are gonna fly uh, the helicopter here the official name what's the official name of that thing the free fly Alta am I too dark right now N I don't think so hey you can lighten it up we got the ND on but no I'd leave it like here we are in the van setting up the drone insane that's a, that's a thing right there <laughs> that is a thing <laughs> all right this is not on the a7s mark III because we have it on the drone about to go up right there fuji xt4 right now um just wanted to let you know but we're gonna do this is my controller. This is Caleb's station today. Okay, give us a little walk through. All right, so over here you've got your pan and tilt roll speed adjustments. So when you're controlling the camera, you're gonna be using this joystick. It's like playing a video game. You're just gonna point at whatever looks best. First flight. You ready?
first flight back on the Sony a7S III here. One piece. One piece. How was your first flight? The Mark III. I mean, it was good. It's super light. It doesn't feel like the drone's carrying any weight. I mean, this thing's amazing. This is going to be a game changer. <laughs> yes, dude. Okay, so we're going to look at the footage on my laptop real quick before we do more flights today. Um, just going to, yeah, you can barely see it, but... Cool. <laughs> All right, well, it worked, and it looks really good, but my computer won't play it back, so... We'll have to wait for the, the reveal later. We're gonna pack up here, onto the next spot. We're gonna head over to the mountains, get some more pretty footage. Is this video? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right, let's check it out. Also, again, to reiterate, this review isn't going to be very technical. I just actually want to get out like I would normally vlog and just show you a bunch of footage uh, with the camera. I'll link a couple reviews that I've seen. Gerald Dundun did one that was incredible. Just talked through all the specs. If you're looking for specs, check out that video um, and a few other creators' videos. But this one was just me. I, I definitely just wanted to get out and get a bunch of footage, a little less technical. I think we all know this camera is one of the best, if not the best, mirrorless cameras on the market right now. So we all know it's good. Another thing I'm gonna do is put a link somewhere in the review. So a uh, link below to our review and then on that page is gonna be a Dropbox folder or Google Drive folder where you can download some of this footage um, just so that it's not you're not seeing it compressed and maybe you wanna put um, color on it yourself. So shooting everything S-Log3 with the color profile set to pro. So if you're wondering, that is kind of the setup and again, the G Master 16 to 35 with the moment variable ND filter. Okay, technical specs aside, let's get it back up in the air. Oh yeah, food's up, we got the van table. We got some burgers and we are eating now. A little midday snack. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Wait, really? No. It's so good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's kind of that perfect drive up burger. Tastes very fresh, good ingredients. I'd rate it a 4.5 out of 5. Here's a test for vlogging. It's on active stabilization and it's on a really bumpy forest road. So how is that looking? This is the most in-body stabilization you can get. And granted it's at 16, okay there's cars. It's at 16 millimeters so that's definitely improving. But I'll switch it over to standard stabilization. Um, it does crop in a little bit on active stabilization. Standard is like what I would use all the time and there's no crop on that, which is nice. But for extra bumpy times, this is pretty good. All right, here's standard stabilization. Notice it's a bit wider, um, but let me know. I think I'm a little bit dark too. Let me know if it's a little shakier, and then I'll do one more test where it is no stabilization. Again, this does not crop in at all, so standard is really nice for just general stuff. Um, okay, one more. All right, and no stabilization. How is that looking? I'm being pretty stable with my arm, honestly, but it's bumpy. Uh, yeah, but the light's getting amazing, and outside, if you can tell. We shot a bunch today in 
4K 60 frames per second. So any slow motion footage you've seen up until this point has been 4K 60, and the rest has been shooting today in 4K 24 frames per second for the vlog. Um, you do need a really fast SD card or CFast Express A uh, card for 4K 120. I have one coming in the mail. It'll, it should be at my house tonight. So tomorrow morning before I have to send this camera back, we'll do some kick flips, whether it's my garage if it's raining or at the skate park, and we'll do a slow motion test. So if you are watching, um, that'll be towards the end of this. All right, I'm editing this right now. We didn't end up doing the 4K 120 kick flips the next morning because it was so rainy, but better yet, I waited the next day before sending the camera out and I chopped up some wood with my chainsaw and I'm gonna make a full 4K 120 edit. So stay tuned for that in the next few days. But uh, here's a clip from it, it looks pretty insane. Sony also was kind enough to send us a long lens, 70 to 200, so I haven't used it too much today. A couple shots earlier of the mountains from the first spot, but right now I'm gonna pick off some B-roll cinematic. It's so bright right now, sorry about the shot. Shout out to Chris for coming along today and being my cameraman and also aerial operator and having all that gear. I think it made this video way, way cooler. So smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the full send of flying the A7S III. We know this is the low light king or queen of cameras. So I feel like you know it's gonna be good. Um, I should help Chris set up now. I don't wanna give this camera back. Hey Sony, if you wanna lend us a camera to make more content with. Okay, I'm putting this on a tree. They'll trust me with a camera. How dark it is this is the th we're at two point oh, <clears throat> that is gonna wrap it up but before we go low light test right now we actually just wrapped the last flight hopefully it looked pretty cool yeah everything landed and <laughs> nothing fell out of the sky so it's always a good flight but right now we're at 24 frames per second 1 50th of a shutter ISO 640 which is the base ISO for S-Log3 and what we've been shooting at all day but right now we want to do a little bit of a low light test just in this regular vlogging mode so as you can see, this is ISO 640, and I'll do a couple other increments right now. Okay, this is interesting. We're at ISO 10,000 right now, but watch, like, pretty bright. This is not this bright out here right now, but see this noise right now in my hat? Look at that weird noise. Watch this as I switch in real time. 
Wait. Okay, in real time, watch it go to 12,800. Wait. Right. Oh, whoa. Boom, cleans it up. That, so I that... think it's dual native. Did you see it clean it up? so much better, yeah. Okay, so watch my hat. Kind of a dark zone. It's <laughs> the worst <laughs> angle ever. Um, we're still rolling. Ooh, face detect. Okay, and then back to back to 10,000 right here. Kind of noisier. Probably quite a bit on the computer when we watch it, but... And 12,800. 12,800, okay, that's your high ISO. And then going up in real time, let's max out, dude. Ooh. Oh, oh my. my. <laughs> dude, ISO 40, no, 409,600. That's impossible. What is going on? Is this grainy? <laughs> so yeah, in case you want to film in, let's go in the van. Oh, okay, here we go. It is like, yeah, this would actually be good for like a cave. You're, in, you're spelunking right now. I'm in, it is so dark. I'm gonna go back really quick in the same setting to ISO 640. This is the highest it can go. So for anyone that's wondering, 409,600. All right, we're in ISO 640, which yeah, it's dark in real time. We'll go up to 12,800 where we saw it clean up a bit, but still, is that focus in my face still? I don't know if anyone's gonna care about this, but I'll just go up. Oh wait, 10,000 where it was super noisy. See that? 10,000, 12,800. 10,000, grainy, 12,800. There you go. 16,000, 20,000. How much? 128,000. That looks, pr I wonder how clean that actually looks on the computer. Um, and then again, our favorite, 409,600. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let's go down to our favorite clean one. Look at that, dude. 12,800, looks good. We're out here, literally almost pitch black now at this point, but. The only light is off the screen too. Like, yeah. What the heck? Pretty nice. Anyways, that was the jankiest low light test, but I hope someone enjoyed it. Vlogging low light test. Um, camera's a beast, I think people know that. Other than that, thanks for watching. Chris. That's good. Do you have a YouTube channel or anything to plug? Uh, nope, nothing. Wow. Okay, if you're a Washington or actually around wherever, hire him for drone stuff. He does freelance. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully we can get more content with this camera soon because it was so much fun and it looks incredible. So buy it from our shop if you want it. If not, don't want it. Okay, bye.